Cities today aren't really all that smart. We don't really have a solid grasp of everything that's going on from one minute to the next. A smart city is a city that can leverage all the different data sources, from the vehicles moving within the city, to the energy use, to the water distribution, at any given minute, at any given time. And it will be able to leverage all of the rich CAD data and planning data, put it all into a context for city planners and citizens to make better decisions. Often people go home at a certain time and then use their appliances and their plumbing fixtures. But when everyone uses those water resources at the same time, it creates too big of a demand on the plumbing system. And in some cities like Toronto, they've looked at the, the data from these things and they've actually mandated the creation of storage tanks so that different buildings can release their effluent at different times, thus negating the use to totally rip up the street and replace that that sewage system. So that, that's sort of the power of data when it's used to plan properly. Autodesk has a very valuable role to play. One of the abilities that we have is to aggregate all of the data that comes from the smart cities, organize it and present it in a very rich 3D context that a lot of others could not produce. Data is, its meaning is only really valuable when you put it in that context and you see how it interoperates with the things around it. One of the few ways that you can sort of tease out meaning from it is by exploring these data sets in their sort of natural environment. VR is a tool that lets you do that. In a way, it gives you superpowers to visualize and contextualize. You can experience things that if you had to pull up all the charts for, would just be a nightmare. What's exciting to me about a lot of the Autodesk technologies that we have is when we start to pair historical data and real-time data with simulations. And from the simulations, we can actually generate different kinds of metrics or measures of success that can then help us create better designs. So what we've been doing over the last decade is seeing how we can leverage uh, things like building information modeling over the entire life cycle of buildings, for example. And what we did is we've aggregated data, we show it in context. You can look at things at the regional level, the city level, and ultimately zoom right into what's going on within a building. Today, we know that our customers are faced with some massive challenges, and we're really excited about this work to organize, aggregate, and plan for the smart cities of the future. It's really quite exciting. <laughs>